Hello everyone and welcome back. So in previous couple of videos we talked about these basic data structure queue link list and uh, stack using JavaScript functions. In coming set of videos it's all coding we are going to do is it's all about problem solving. Okay. Before that what we will do is we will understand this link list queue and stack using classes also. Okay. How you can write simple class and all the their relevant methods like for array for stack it can be push, pop, peak, clear, length. Similarly for queue it can be queue, dq, uh, uh, peak, clear, length. Okay. And same for the link list. After that what we will do is we are going to cover top 40 queue questions and answer. I mean the coding questions which are tricky. So sometimes what happens is uh, longest sequence in substring, longest sequence in a string. It can be easily done with some tricks in JavaScript, but until unless we have done it, right? You you can't trick that that trick will not come to your mind until unless you have already seen it. The reverse is string anagram and all the different coding problems with uh, array chunking, reverse an array, reverse a word, right? Uh, string reversal, uh, reversal of a number uh, of uh, like even or odd number of digits, palindrome, anagram, and many more like factorial with the help of stack. These are very basics I'm talking about, level 1, then level 2, level 2 we will check if uh, expression is valid or not, right? Problem solving, palindrome using stack, factorial using stack and then balanced expression using stack. So these are some of the easiest examples I'm talking about. After that we will talk about some advanced level, level examples, okay? Uh, in order, pre-order, post-order, traversal of an expression and validating an expression. So stack can be used for solving uh, numerous problems, okay? So that we will take a look like most commonly asked questions, what are those, okay? So we'll start, we can start writing uh, the code using classes, okay? So simple uh, class, if we try to write, what we can do is we can have all these methods. So if I talk about class or simple function, also you can write function stack it can be converted into a class like functions we have already written class stack okay and in the stack we have a constructor inside a constructor will initialize few things okay in this we can have this dot data store I mean this is with the help of object not array here we have this dot top and this dot push this dot top is zero and this is this is what we need right now we can actually do a push method you can write push method you can write pop method we can write uh, clear which will actually clear out the object and we have length Right, so push pop, what all things push means we are, we will need some value, pop will return a value, okay. So top is currently zero, but uh, when you are doing push, what it is doing is this dot data store, we are just going to increase this count and we will just assign the value to it, okay. Similarly pop will return the element and return the element will be this dot data source this dot uh, top so what we have is we can manage all these elements we have currently this count right so this dot count minus one this will give us the topmost value and if you talk about so this is the pop and this is the peak peak will just uh, Let's also write peak just with pop. Peak will just look into the stack and will just want it to have uh, uh, look onto the element which is the topmost. It will not do a pop. Okay, here uh, if you wanted to do a pop, then you have to actually just decrease this count. This dot count. Okay, peak will just look at the element and we are just returning the element from stack top of the stack and clear we'll just set 
this dot top uh, equal to zero this dot count sorry and length will be just returned this dot count I mean we are increasing count whenever we are doing and decreasing the count whenever we are doing pop so this count will hold the values this is a simple stack implementation using classes similarly we can also write queues and uh, the linked list and now what I can do is I can create the object of the stack and can use it uh, using and I can do uh, s dot push s dot pop right all these methods I can invoke because I have the access to the object okay so let's start writing the code from the next video